This test and review video is in relation to using the Canon extenders for astrophotography. For wildlife and bird photos or other similar uses, the conclusions may differ. Long focal length lenses that are still reasonable in cost are typically between 200mm and 400mm. A teleconverter or extender can be used to increase the focal length, but are they worth it and what are the limitations? In this video I will be looking at the Canon 1.4X and 2X extenders. The Canon extenders work with many of the Canon L-series lenses. Canon provides a list of compatible lenses. Be sure to check this list to see if your lens is compatible before purchasing an extender. Otherwise the extender simply may not fit the lens. The compatible lenses have a deeply inset rear element to allow the extender's front element to sit partially inside the lens. You can see on this side image of the extender that the front element protrudes out approximately 8 millimeters. The Canon extenders will not work with most of the standard EF and EFS lenses since their rear element is not inset. Regarding some of the technical aspects of the Canon extenders, the 1.4x extender has one stop of light loss and the 2x extender has two stops of light loss, which can be a concern if you are using the extender with a lens that has a high focal ratio since the extenders will bump you up one or two additional stops. Regarding the one or two stops of focal ratio that these extenders add onto the setup, most cameras cannot autofocus past a focal ratio of f8. So if the extender pushes your focal ratio past f8, then chances are your viewfinder autofocus will stop working. It is possible that the real-time live view autofocus will still work, so depending on the focal ratio you are at, you may be able to use live view to autofocus, but note that live view focusing is usually slower. So typically the extender should only be used with fast lenses where the resulting focal ratio with the extender will be less than f8 such as an f5.6 or lower focal ratio with the 1.4x extender and an f4 or lower focal ratio with the 2x extender. When I use the 2x extender on my Canon 90D camera with the Canon 400mm f5.6 LUSM lens, I don't get autofocus except in real-time preview mode since the equivalent focal ratio becomes f11. Note that the Canon extenders are not stackable due to their physical design. You cannot stack two of the extenders to increase or double their magnification. Let's look at some actual images of camera test charts using these Canon extenders. These charts are best viewed in full 4K resolution. On all of the camera chart tests that I performed, I noticed no increase in distortion or chromatic aberration or softness from either the 1.4X or the 2X extender from Canon. And for astrophotography, any measurable shortcomings of the extenders are decreased simply by the much larger and higher detail image that is cast onto the camera sensor. For astrophotography, pixels do count. And these extenders make a significant difference in capturing lunar and solar images with a 200mm through 400mm lens. How does all of this relate to astrophotography? In the case of lunar and solar photography, the velocity in stops is usually not of any concern since the objects being photographed are very bright, and manual focusing is often performed when shooting those objects. And using a 2x extender increases the size of moon or sun quite significantly on the camera sensor area. For planetary photography, a 400mm lens with a 2x extender is still not sufficient focal length to get a good image of the large planet Jupiter. So using a DSLR in an attempt to get detail on planetary objects is usually less than optimal. For deep space photography, an extender is usually not necessary, since most common deep space objects like galaxies and nebula can be captured with a fast 50mm through 400mm lens. My final verdict is that these extenders are great especially for capturing lunar and solar images with a 300mm or 400mm lens. I personally use an L-series luxury lens with a 2x extender for most of my lunar and solar imaging.